Hi, this is Far Starter, and this is a review of the SH Figure Arts Sagittarius Zodiac. And let me go through the box. Uh, we have the figure here in front, and then we have the logos underneath, uh, numbers, and then uh, the name here on one side. Same here on the other, on top, and at the back, uh, some poses for the figure. Now let's open the box and let's take a look on this figure. Out of the box, the SH figure of Sagittarius Zodiacs requires the flame-like accents to be attached at the back of the figure. With it, the figure has a sophisticated and elegant look but seems to have a mixed motive of birth-like structure and that of a center archer. To complete, his signature weapon, Gilgamesh, is attached on the right side of the arm. This bow's arms do have joints that swivel in and out. Other accessories include the Zodiac switch and five extra hands. Though the holding hand in the mix can grab the Zodiac switch, hold the switch is not as firm as weapon holding hands but it does what it needs to do. Gamo's personification in SH Figuarts form is not complete without the robe parts. To attach this on the figure, detach the shoulder pads and the flame accents and then clip the arm sleeves followed by the torso. These have to be firmly clipped together, assuring the robe doesn't fall off. The problem area would be on his left arm. It is why it is important to attach the bow again to keep the sleeve in place. On this stage, it is impossible to move the joints, but you can adjust the feet and the head to balance the figure. Let's check out the articulation points for this figure. We have a head and neck joint, and then we have some shoulder pads here and then arm movement let me just take out the arrow or the bow and then upper bicep and then we have double jointed elbows uh, swiveling hand and then we have an upper torso and waist it doesn't seem that it has but it ha but it actually has one so we have uh, leg joints too and knee joints and then we have a foot and toe joint as well now, um, I'm really liking the figure and uh, because of the really nice details it has, it's just that uh, the only thing that's off on this figure are the cylinders. Um, I see some mess molds here and uh, overrun of the paint application, but everything else looks great. There are hindrances when it comes to the arm articulation because of the accents here at the back. And this one keeps on falling off if you try to push this uh, to its limit and it just attaches back on the arm so that's no really huge I issue it's just that I have huge fingers and it always in the way when I try to pose this figure and here is some of the details at the back which is really nice and I didn't know that it, he has a tail so it's part of the whole motive of the figure Amongst all of the Zodiacs featured in the SH Figure Arts line, for me, this is the most important figure to be included in your collection. Sagittarius is a well-executed figure, but there are some parts that are off, like the cylinders on the right arm and the shoulder pads that dislodges themselves whenever they hit the flame accents on the back. The figure has the basic articulation and the abdominal joints are well hidden from view. And that is my review of the SH Figure Arts Sagittarius Zodiacs. If you want to know the possible design, and details for this figure check out the photos at the end of the video and subscribe to my blog for the full written review this is far starter thank you very much for watching and keep it here for more toy reviews